I know full well what I said. Okay, I know what I said. <laughs> I saw that you said CT GamerCon. That is a con, sir. This is a regional, and we got a great set coming up off the rip. We got the Spacey's fight. These two worked recently in Super Smash Gun Top 8. Now, they have to fight each other to be the best Spacey in the building. Only this time, they have to take each other out for, uh, for Losers Top 8. And it's going to be a tall order on both ends because you know both of these players are just so visceral in their play. They're very combo-oriented, have great reactions, and they don't let any opportunity slip. Absolutely. Speaking of that right there, capitalizing on that uh, air dodge, recognizing that Light was a little bit scared on the landing there, and he's going to take him out. And Light needs to win on ledge because you don't want to be challenging till they on shield too much with those nares. you got to take it up till at some point, which is going to lead to big damage as he reads the jump there and catches the forward air. As a matter of catching things, Tilde catching landings from Light is going to be a huge matter of him building up damage and securing kills. The way that Light has been waiting out on how to jump in, I think is really smart, because he's only been taking to the air if Tilde is already off stage, minimizing the damage. And on maximizing his advantage state, keeping him off in the air. That forward is gonna catch the illusion. He's not gonna die just yet, but he has no jump, and he's gotta take this punish, and that was a perfect edge guard from there till the, uh, from Tilde there. And that's why you gotta watch the airspace. Tilde's just so dominating of a player. Once he gets a lock on how you wanna move, and the more you bleed out those options, the easier it is for Tilde to just call it curtains on you. Absolutely, and look at the shield pressure right now. Trying to find a shield park or anything with that Nair. Light is currently down three stocks to one, and that whips up smash, that's a big punish. His jump's now gone, catches him. That's why I said before, you can't be nearing directly. If how free. about we start this top eight with a three stock? Looking kinda rough. Now, I do know for a fact, and this is his own damn fault, but Light was at like the casino last night until oh, really? super dumb late. Oh and, really? And, and, you know, I'm just saying it's gonna be funny because it seemed like he about to about to be the only money. Yeah, hey, yeah, your boy took the wrong kind of gamble. Hey, he went, he, he went big there. And I'm feeling a little rough for him here, but we did see what Light was able to do at Super Smash Con. I don't know if he has the same energy attached to him in this one. He had an incredible losers run going game five against everyone throughout that top eight. But Tilde already playing the matchup perfectly and taking him out as we see him covering that nair pretty much every time. Game two is going to be bringing us to town and city, and I think this is a really good choice from Light when you consider how he tried to control the ledge and the kind of space that he wants to keep active for himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and right now, just kind of just trying to find a big opening. That grab, good DI away, but also reading the roll in and getting nothing out of it. Tilde actually winning out on the mash out, and Tilde has just been consistently reading the jumps. Definitely seemed like he was a little bit afraid in that situation, going for that Firefox in that spot. He's lucky he didn't take a harder punish. Yeah, trying to come out of scrambles alive against any of these players is going to be a tall Run. order. Hey, you know he was trying to play it hard. Gotta love the plats. But right now, it looks like Tilda's the big fan. And big winner just constantly beating Light out further and further. And there's the first stock, just like that. Absolutely, Capital. Like, he understands. Like, look, you have the illusion, and that Firefox is coming eventually. All I got to do, even if you don't die immediately, is keep putting these back out, uh, backers out there. Consistently confirm. And he understood right there, if he takes that damage, he ends up on the platform at best with that up smash, and he doesn't get ledge trapped. That was actually pretty smart, like, taking that hit from Tilde. Yeah, go for the drop zone there. Just keep it above the ledge, I think is an interesting choice from Light, but a very good one because he wants that safe damage. Get Tilde to the point where one hit means the hit confirmed to a kill, just like that! Capitalizing big, finding the Nair. You start, it seems like Light is starting to find a few of the gaps where Tilde's trying to uh, get the anti-airs. And it's kind of similar how in a Reflector matchup. If you use the Reflector every time, it's going to get baited. Eventually, in this matchup too, it'll get baited. But Tilde has such a good anti-air option. You see him trying to hold ground, but these short hopped airs, Frank, are actually starting to work, put in some work. As I say that, Light are immediately almost dying. Like, both of these players are waiting for the option out of short hop because they know they get so much reward, both off of a hit they confirm from the air, but also catching those landings. Yeah, so, there's a bit of a quick draw on how these players are able to find the punish and how big of a punish they can get. Yeah, the big thing, like, Light needs to capitalize on those punishes ASAP. And Town City coming in a little bit there with the down tilt. Once again, it's starting to get a little stale, but even with that, the weight of Fox is going to cost him pretty soon. Maybe, oh, okay, try to catch Nair. Push him back off stage. He does have the opportunity if he gets like an Ash Mash read or something here, he can take him out, but goes for a Shine Spike instead. I like it. It's a bit gutsy, but that's kind of how Light survives as a player, going for those unorthodox options. Unfortunately, though, Tilde keeps it close to the chest by the book. Down tilt managing to kill 
It's not the first time I've seen it, but it's certainly not an off use option. Yeah, Light very off point on these up smashes right now, too. You saw he didn't get the run in up smash on the last one, and they're right there. Whiffing one in place, does fight in there that time, so UX evens it delivered. back up. You gotta get it, you gotta get those hits. So this is still very doable for Light as he's been keeping it even, but you already know, Tilde has been headhunting off stage, so Light needs to fight in center stage as much as possible right now. And he seems to be doing that by drawing a lot of the action directly from the ledge towards inward on the stage. Mm -hmm. And because he's initiating that oh. from the ledge, that's so much space for him to fall back on. But Tilde's been doing a fantastic job of fighting out of the corner and finding a lot of reversals that makes a lot of these situations fraught for Light. Yeah, you know, I mean, all these frame traps have been so good. Oh, just, oh my God, just running up on him, putting him down tilt out. Gets the up tilt though, that's big damage potentially. The near out of disadvantage does get the trade. He's looking for a good DI down, but he's gonna be forced to recover a high. Falls out of the nair, was that SDI? Either way though, that back air is gonna come in and he gets the kill and Tilde going up too. Bro, Tilde has been absolutely bodying our people up in NE, bro. He beat, he beat Mars over at Super Smash Con. Now he's up two games here on light. Tilde is somebody everybody must look at when the rankings finally come. And, okay, so he just faded out. But he mu you must pay attention to Tilde when the rankings come back as somebody who is going to be a threat in the top 20 or higher. He's a player who's been constantly looking to prove himself since he's been coming uh, to offline events. With no stop in that action, it's just been step after step after step in a climb to the top. And now, you keep on bringing back Fall Fest. As a reminder, Tilde got 7th out of that. Right now, he's looking to give that number 7 over to Light. Yeah, there's a big reason why, again, Tilde got to that point. His capitalization on hit, his reward on hit, up throw into up air. He's not, oh, excuse me, back air. Actually killed! So actually getting the kill off the left-hand side. And it looks like, right now, one of the last two reps in Connecticut, sure looking like he's about to get eliminated if things keep going the way they're going. AJ, you did a fine job hosting a New York tournament over in Connecticut. Oh, man, I, uh... Oh, man, can I, uh... Hey, listen, your I money's just as good over in the Empire State. Hey, man, look, yo, you know what? We used to run them pockets over in NY. You already know, so right now we holding that out today. It is what it is. <laughs> I'll, I'll deal with it. Okay, I'll go cry in the corner by myself. <laughs> Tilde out here, though, putting in work, getting kicked directly in the face, though. Light actually preventing himself from getting hit for quite a while there. You know, in all seriousness, Light has come back from deficits such as these before, both in-game counts and in-set counts. Like, there's very much the possibility that Light is not out of it until you see that next Tilde windscreen. Yeah, I mean, Tilde. And Tilde has been so good in the clutch, though. Like, every time it comes down to the last stock, he has been he knows, well, you got to work way harder for your kill confirm. All I need is one read on your win condition, which is those nears. And he's got to watch out consistently for Tilde hunting for it. Right there, gets the punish on the, uh, on the up tilt. Not too much else after that, but it looks like Light is starting to slowly find his hits. He's starting to actually get him on these air-to-air -air trades here, uh, Frank. Another thing that I'm realizing that I think is a fantastic adaptation from Light is he'll run up on shield towards Tilde and immediately dash out so that he doesn't have to worry about those out of shield options that Tilde consistently is finding reversals on. That mm -hmm. way he's just with punishing at that point. It's, a, it's risky, but it's paying off huge dividends in this game right now. Yeah, and I see him going deep off stage. Yeah, the high fair actually worked out pretty well because at best you take a trade there. But, oh, that's a big jab lock. He doesn't get anything out of it, though. Tries to find the falling up here. Where do you go on the roll? He doesn't move at all. And that worked out because Tilde was definitely in position to cover it. It's a lot of those outwards dashes that have been looking so good for Light. He just doesn't want to worry about those opportunities when Tilde swings out of the corner because Light wants to swing. Yeah, and I mean, this can't be where pressure comes in, right? It may just be a big regional, but at the same time, when you are up in the lead, sometimes you got to keep your composure when you look for those big hits. Tilde is very composed, though. However, getting hit quite a bit. Light recognizing he's swinging a lot of disadvantage. And he's starting to get a lot of damage, and all of a sudden, Light is here with a decent lead. Let's see if it lasts for that much longer, which it's not that up there's to get the hit. An excellent catch from Tilde, and now he's sitting in a position where a little bit of rage is cooking, a lot of those really good neutral tools that he can use to extend his combos. Very strong likelihood that if Tilde finds the right hit, he ties up this percentage off of one interaction. Oh, oh! If that Light did. even gives him the opportunity. Yeah, he keeps going for these nares, and Tilde kind of gives him the respect on it. He does get the, oh, he gets the tech in place, but he misses, doesn't get the anti-air up smash that he's looking for. Tilde stuck at the corner. Does he go for back airs? Oh, he was waiting to cover that in, and he doesn't react. That's something that Light barely ever misses until he gets another chance. Just keeping his back at the ledge, that way he can threaten the nair, threaten the back air, and keep Tilde guessing the entire time. Uh -oh. But now it's Combo City. 
Oh, that's a fair. He hasn't used his jump yet. There, there it is. is. He's exhausted. gonna recover high. And he gets hit by the back air. Now he's forced to recover low. That's a fair again. There's pretty much no roots that he can take. Till they going out there, but he misses out. And he gets in, but he gets the up tilt. Light air not just in it. Oh. And Light walks away by stealing the game as he bombs. <laughs> and Light's gotta let the crew know that oh, he's not man. dead yet. Putting them putting a both up there. That was so funny, though. And these two have a lot of respect for each other in general, right? These are very strong competitors, but that was, I like that. Light getting in. He had every reason in the world to lose that match right there. But till they missed it, and that's going to be Light getting himself on the board. However, I did fight. Look, look, look. <laughs> I'm still not feeling too comfy. I'm not feeling comfy at no, all. No, as they, you shouldn't. He's still, he's still two games up, and he almost won that game, so... Like, it's worth noting, regardless of the scale of the tournament, regardless of the prize pot ahead of it, these players play for the passion of it. They want to prove they're the best. Oh, but no, they're, they're in each other's way, so you can only get one person going on. Yeah, I also told Light how much you would make if you won this whole thing, so he's definitely playing with a bit more pet <laughs> uh, <laughs> And he's definitely turned up a bit after he figured out the money. Or Right now, Light pushing him off at ledge, trying to get that nair. It's the, that's an annoying nair pressure at ledge. It's such a good ledge trap. And then using the, the not only laser, but using the reflector. Just kind of like, get off me, get away from ledge. And Tilde, Sinor work his way back in. It's a really good mid range button, not just for the sake of its reflecting. But oh just my so, god. You put a hitbox there because it further streamlines your pressure to the ledge. But Light doesn't care about how well you're playing. He could one-up you at any point. Answering it right back after getting catched by that down air. He knew he was going for the illusion. And then Light answering immediately with the out smash. Now you got to take a lot of damage. This is similar to heavies. When you get caught by that string, accept it. You're taking 50. You have to hold that. How do you handle it afterwards? One thing that's worth considering is the value of Light playing in a best of five compared to a best of three. Mm -hmm. The way that he adapts as a player, he makes such good use of this extended time so that he can catch out on all of these habits and he could find where his, uh, his opponent is starting to find just tiny bits of exhaustion. Yeah. Because compared to game one, here in game four, there's oh. a lot more of these gaps in Tilde's play, but he's not out of it just yet, still managing to find these really big hits. Yeah, no gap there. That was a big whiff punish on Light. And now Light looking at his last stock once again. He does get the back here on the cross up. Let's see if he can get a punish here. He tried to go for forward smash last time. So probably looking for a jump read. Instead, going for Nair. Is he going to read a roll on? No, instead, tries to, uh, he decided to go for get up attack. And now that's going to be another solid whiff punish here coming in from Tilde. But he's not able to make the most of getting that hit off the ledge. Once again, Light finding a way around that forward air. And I think that's going to be vital to him staying alive throughout these stocks. And if he tries to make this go into a game five. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Very, very scary spot there. Nair reads it. And yes, he closes out on the stock. He gets the out smash. And now Light getting himself back into the game. Still, and once again, after losing that stock, barely took any damage. But we already know all Tilde needs is a couple hits. Now he's stuck at the ledge. He's got to watch out for the dares. Like, ultimately speaking, these players aren't just playing the percentage game. They need that stage control, because the sooner it goes towards the ledge or the sooner it goes over platforms, the sooner and better it's favoring either of these players. In Tilde's case, he wants this battle to take uh, over the ledge, because yeah. he finds his reversal or he has stage control. And he always it's a has win -win. that spike. He always has that spike. This is the difference in the matchup, where Light has to fight in center stage to find those nears, to find that up smash. Tilde, all he needs is one good down air, or one good up tilt at the ledge. That rising fair, though, not expecting it, and now Light not getting the shield poke, trying to look for another nair, goes for up throw, and I like that side B. Don't try to take that mix up from all those up airs. Because you've noticed consistently Light can't find any answer to attacking on the ledge, and he's refusing to go off stage. Mm -hmm. So the best bet for Tilde is reset neutral from the ledge, because that's where he's finding so much damage and big stocks. Yeah, and you see, Light has to give him respect at ledge. Oh, oh, doesn't get anything out of it. That's a lot of shield damage. Just goes around the grab. But the up tilt, he misses out, gets the up tilt, and he reads him, and he doesn't die just yet, though, but he's gonna be forced to dip blow. He tried to get the footstool. Somehow Light's still alive. Oh, he doesn't punish this IV! Nah, he gets the throw! We're, we're gonna stay going. We're just building up the pressure. Trying to find this hit. One bad whip is the game uh, from either player right now. You have to watch out! And he gets the back air! And we're going to a game number five! Woo, baby! This is exactly how you start off a good top eight. There was a bunch of people playing friendlies before. A whole lot of park seats now putting their asses up in the front in an incredible start to top eight. Here Everybody had to pull up today. because even though this is just losers eats, this has got to be one of the highlights of this top Ooh. eight. There's no better way we could have started. This is seed one and two.
you look at either of these players and like, oh, of course they're going to win. They're dominating their mm -hmm. regions. How could they do anything Dude, but be number no, yeah, one? I, 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 Devin was actually replaying it back. You saw how close that down tilt was to hitting Light. That was so close. Light stealing away that game. But Light gets the back air. He had a lot of good advantage. He had a lot of good grabs as well. And not getting mixed up. There's a grab already off the start. When Light is starting to grab you a bunch because you think Fox is going to do nothing, that's where you're near for a world of hurt. It's such a safe way for Light to streamline the process of this matchup because he knows that Tilting wants to be at the ledge. He might as well get some free damage along the way because Oof. at those earlier percentages, he's able to juggle. But later percentages, he's playing the ledge game as well as Fox can. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about that free damage, right? That's exactly what Falco gets out of every time. He gets one hit. Yes, That's sir. high recovery, and the air dodge gets by, but only... Yeah, I don't really know what he's going to do. Okay, decides to go to ledge. That was actually pretty smart because you do not want to take that mix-up after that. Reads the roll away, Frank. Oh, he gets traded off! Oh, wait! How oh, do we trade out things? there? Only just barely coming back. Light is somehow working his way back into this percent deficit and like in the weirdest way possible. Gets the rapid jab. Now he's got to be forced to side B. This oh, is such oh, a multi-dimensional scramble. And scared. somehow Tilde comes out the loser of it all. When Tilde air dodge right there, you could see the sense of fear. But Tilde has him in a great spot. Gets the dare. Evens it right back up. I couldn't tell you how the first 60 seconds of any of these games could have gone, but I sure as hell could not have told you that Game 5 would have been such a bombastic start. Bro, the agenda is thriving right now. Until they trying to keep this up, but Fox on the pilot of the best one in the world. Light coming in here, getting his damage, and he's finding him. He's finding a lot of really bad jumps from ledge. Does he jump from ledge again? He decides to go for side B, and Light is not letting him get away with it the same way he was before. Look at that again, just jumping in front of him and getting the up tilt. But this is now big damage for Tilde. Light has been taking such a minimalist approach to Fox's tools in these situations, and I think it's the smartest decision he could be Ooh. making. You're oh. only seeing up tilt, you're only seeing Nair, you're only seeing up smash, because Light knows that he can't afford to press any other button while Tilde's at the ledge. Oh, speaking of, he jumped high. And oh, and he gets called out on the high recovery with the up B. So even after all that damage, he doesn't get the punish. And now everybody in the venue waking up, that, a couple on both sides. Nair off throw, that's going to be big damage. Oh, does he get the B reverse laser he was looking for? This is so close right now, Frank. The tension is palpable. Light oh. potentially on tournament stock. Oh, he's oh, he decided to jump high with the Tilted fair. Tilted Fox confirmed it's an oh, up air. Not dead yet. A great DI is keeping Light alive. Once again, this Fox refuses to die. Forward throw coming in, get a, gonna give him ledge. He's trying to catch the back here with that jump. He got the up smash though. This is not over just yet. This is one good up tilt to back air away though for Tilde. He goes for forward throw here or down throw to give him safe position. Tries to snipe the jump. He gets it with the up tilt and he's gonna recover low, but he gets away. That's on hit. This is damage for light. We got big juggles, big damage. The crowd is popping off. Gets the drag down, forces him low. Goes for another trade, but he goes off stage. He gets away from the down tilt and he catches him with the rising fear. And that's and just it. like that. That is the forward air. What? Moist Light is down at 7th place at Hold the Line. God damn. Light, the number one seed of the tournament, going down to the number two seed of the tournament in losers sevenths here after going down to Tilde earlier. Uh, excuse me, uh, Adamus, and going down to another bird here with Tilde. And what was almost an incredible run back. But after Light gave up stage position there, Tilde capitalized big. He made sure that even though he was getting cooked quite a bit out of disadvantage, Tilde stayed on top of him when he was at his weakness, which is off stage. These birds of prey were on the hunt this entire tournament. And just like that, your one seed's going to fall. Yep, now but we got one left. We got Connecticut's one. Connecticut's got one player left standing, but it's going to be a bit before we get there because we still have the other side of Losers 8th to cover. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness, man. It has been incredible. You know, cut, 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 no, no, no. You're going to keep them no, right on us. Front center. <laughs> Take